Hi everyone, it's been well overdue since my last video, um, just been very busy and although I am putting quite a bit of photos and things on Instagram so if anyone is interested um, it's the same name that I have on YouTube, I've got an Instagram page which I put photos on most days to be honest so yeah I thought I'd do a video now, it's coming up to, well we're in just started into spring, the weather's very nice so a lot's been going on since my last video <clears throat> started on the back and it's starting to sort of take shape although it does look a bit of a mess at the moment it is coming together and um, so I'll uh, just show you where we're at at the moment and then I'll probably do a quick walk around of the garden so we can sort of compare now to sort of end of summer see how we get on with all the growth and new plants that are going in again the back's going to look completely different by sort of mid well start of summer everything will be planted in the back so it'll look completely different so i'll just show you quickly and we'll have a walk around so this is the area that's going to be full of water and that the water will sort of there'll be jets in the back over here and there's, there's a waterfall as well there so this will be full of water with stepping stones going through which will eventually lead into the pool this is sort of <clears throat> not a priority at the moment because I want to get the um, all the planting done I want to get all the walls built if I show you um, <clears throat> where the walls are going you can see so I'm going to try and create a nice microclimate blocking out all the cold winds that we get through the winter so this will be all a high wall this will eventually be um, an outside kitchen. Again, that's something that's sort of less prioritised at the moment. And then the walls will go all the right way around here. Come out there. And this bit again, I'm going to try and grow some really sort of tropical palms in here that will be nice and sheltered from all directions. That back wall over there will give me some nice shade as well so I can grow some things that like to be in the shade. Um, I was sort of planning eventually to have this this area on the left will be like a nice planted area. In the middle, I've been looking at aviaries, like and have some tropical birds in there and do a really nice aviary, so that this area will be sort of a walk down seating area that will go all the way around with plants growing in between the wall and the seating area all the way around and have a sunken seating with fire pit in the middle that looks out sort of to the to the garden area <clears throat> so you can see hopefully it will start to look like a garden soon um yeah the pool area is going to have sort of a raised up terrace around it that drops down and i'm planning to put drains in so that all the water runs into a drain that runs along this section and then collects, I'm going to dig out a channel down there and put in a water tank so I can save all the rainwater and then pump it out to water the garden. So that's one of the plans. Um, I can't remember if this was even finished the last, in my last video, but all the grass is down. <clears throat> really nice sort of play area, place to just relax and watch the kids play. I've uh, got a couple of plants in there. The canna's just starting to, well, I need to cut the old ones down, but they're just starting to come up now. Now it's getting a bit warmer. And this was just marked as a flower bed. Then there'll be, lo there'll be lots of flower beds around this area. So just to keep it nice and green and, and going for that overgrown sort of tropical, tropical area. Um, this will be the raised terrace so you can walk straight out the lounge. Um, and there'll be sort of that same level will come out to there and then this will all be plants and then the, the levels of the uh, just pave, paving really and the dogs are running off to bark at someone probably the neighbours um, so I'll just walk you, I'll just walk over to my greenhouse. I've taken all the palms out that I want to plant sort of now. And I've started getting them used to a bit of sun. So there are some others that took a bit of damage, but they're still alive. Got some bananas there. And the Roystonias, 
they took some wind damage and they weren't great in the pot when I bought them. So they'll come back. Got some shade loving palms down there. And then I've got quite a few different ones in here. I'll do a video when I do plant all the back so I can name what palms I'm putting in and be interesting to see what's going in there. I've got all my heliconias in the greenhouse still because probably well, it's not too cold for them, but there's no point in putting them in yet because they won't they won't start growing for another couple of weeks. Um, the garden is a bit of a mess to be honest at the minute, but I thought if I don't do this video today, it will never get done. So, but yeah, I'll uh, just walk you around so we can see. I've got some papayas growing on there, so that'd be nice because I've never had some. Never, well, I've never tried a papaya, but. Um, it, it, we've never had fruit from it yet so and the mango trees flowering as well so hopefully we'll get some mangoes but I'll just walk you around so we can sort of compare it to the end of summer <clears throat> the dog kennel's finished again we lock the two of the puppies up we tie them up at night so they stay stay in this area <clears throat> because they, they try and escape if we don't so <clears throat> the wall's looking nice. I had a bit of issue with these palms here. I think I was just giving them the wrong sort of nutrients. Um, I tried to get the best stuff I could for them, but <clears throat> over here it's quite hard, so I've actually ordered ordered some proper palm fertilizer online um, so they'll be hopefully looking better soon and one of them died I didn't know why but I realized that the irrigation had been leaking quite a lot and it was basically like a swamp when I uh, got down to it so I'll have to replace that this year with, a, with another one the same um, Again, I'm having problems with this palm as well. It looks, it's it's really struggling. So we're gonna see how we get on. I have been treating it with some um, peroxide, so hopefully that cures it. <clears throat> Again, that's better. Everything's sort of just starting to get going. So I love these these flowers. And they really, they don't need much water and they just take off. So the winter's not been too bad to be honest. We've had quite a nice, nice weather. Um, I've had a few casualties, but things that I sort of knew were borderline. So I had some Prichardias, Prichardia Pacificas, two that I think were pretty dead. Um, but this one's doing fine, the Latania is doing okay, so that's a good sign because people have said that they need the same climate as the coconut tree. <clears throat> and I did lose three coconuts, um, but that one looks fine, so... But yeah, I think that's about it. Um, like I say, if, you, if you're interested in gardening and want to see photos, I do put a lot of things on my Instagram page. Unfortunately, the videos take a bit more time up and I'm quite busy with other things, but I will try and post more throughout the summer when everything's growing and get some comparisons. And like I say, when I start planting the back, um, that should be quite interesting. So I'll make a couple of videos for that. Okay, well, thanks for listening and, and, and I'll see you on the next one.